Top of the morning, fight fans. This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News on this Christmas Eve. And I got some new news for you concerning Keith One Time Thurman. You know, Keith Thurman, you know, he's been out of the ring for damn near two years. <clears throat> He's been very vocal, though. He hasn't stopped that. He was MMA, MIA for the longest time, um, you know, and he keeps stirring the pot. And when I mean stirring the pot, I mean he keeps regurgitating certain fighters' names, such as Terrence Crawford, such as Earl Spence, you know, Adrian Broner, you know, and then let me start with the first name, Terrence Crawford. You know, he is criticizing Terrence Crawford's welterweight resume okay you know and, it, and he was saying things like well you know terrence crawford why is he number three or why is he considered you know the top five when he hasn't done enough in the welterweight division yet you know he hasn't even fought amir khan okay and i think amir khan would beat jeff horn all right let me pause right there let me go ahead and counterpunch that on um keith thurman because Keith Thurman needs to understand, first of all, nobody has beat Jeff Horn. And the only way that we can see what Jeff Horn does is what he does after the loss. What has he done after the loss? Okay, fair enough. He knocked out um, a journeyman, you know, Moondine. Okay, he knocked out Moondine. But what has he done after that? You know, so that's really an unfair thing to say. <clears throat> and you assess something like that when you don't know what Jeff Horn's made of. If Jeff Horn doesn't fight uh, Sean Porter, if he doesn't fight himself, Keith Thurman, if he doesn't fight uh, Errol Spence, okay, or Danny Garcia or any of the guys on the PBC lineup, you will never know what Jeff Horn can do with those fighters, assuming it's not enough in the sport of boxing because styles make fights. OK, so he can't make that decision yet. Maybe, you know, but maybe Amir Khan would beat uh, Jeff Horn. <clears throat> but, a go of course, we know Amir Khan's weakness. His kryptonite is his chin. If you not, you, you hit him good enough and someone like Jeff Horn that applies pressure like that could probably get him out of there. So he doesn't know. He's just trying to discredit Thur Keith Thurman. I mean, j j <laughs> trying to discredit um, Terrence Crawford being Keith Thurman. So, um you know, and he hasn't even fought Amir Khan. I know he wanted to fight Amir Khan once upon a time, but that didn't happen. You know what I mean? You know, because Amir Khan is picky. He is very uh, uh, fickle about um, fickle about um, fighting certain fighters because he, like Keith Thurman, they have the same type of mentality. They only want to fight the top fighters. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I can understand why Amir Khan didn't want to fight Keith Thurman, especially when Keith Thurman was coming up in the rankings, trying to fight everyone, including Mayweather and Pacquiao and stuff like that. And he still wants a part of Pacquiao because, you know, he mentioned how disappointing it was when he was up and coming. A little green, he stated, when he wanted a piece of Pacquiao. You know, I did a video years ago on how Keith Thurman said last year on after he beat Danny Garcia that he wants to put hands on Manny Pacquiao, you know, and I was all for that fight at that time because Manny Pacquiao was still fresh. He still looked fresh. He still appeared fresh and sharp or whatever, you know, about now. I don't know. We have to see what he does after the Broner fight, but um, I would like to see those two fight depending on how good Manny fights and, you know, performs against Adrian Broner. You know, but I think Keith Thurman, you know, he did spin it around because Keith Thurman does a lot of talking. You know, he should be he had definitely has a um, job in commentation after he fights as he finishes his professional boxing career. But uh, <clears throat> he also stated that, hey, you know, um, if to, even if Terrence Crawford or Earl Spence, even if both of those guys beat him. He will st still be a part of the mix. You know, he'll know he's not number one. He compared Adrian Broner's career. He's lost three times and a draw. And he states he still has a beautiful career. Now, look what he's done in the sport. You know, he wants he just doesn't want to be the ordinary guy. He wants to be legendary. So it makes sense to him. Um, he wants to stand out, you know, and. The thing about Keith Thurman is if he wants to stand out, he's not really doing a good job. Sure, he's getting back in the saddle fighting host, um, Lopez, right? And Lopez is, a, you know, he's a he's a journeyman at this point. He's been beat by everybody. The only his claim to fame is breaking Victor Ortiz's jaw. But the problem with Victor Ortiz, what did he do after that? You know what I'm saying? What did he do after that loss? 
defines you. You know, that shows. See, when you beat a fighter and then that fighter goes on to build himself back up and he beats a lot of other fighters, that makes you look good in essence. Okay. So um, that's why I compared the Jeff Horn comparison to the other fighters because, you know, we have to know what Jeff Horn's going to do. You can't just say, oh, Jeff Horn's a cherry pick, blah, 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 yada, yeah, you know, you know, Jose Benavidez. These guys that Terrence Crawford defeated at 147, we have to know what they're going to do after that. Now, if Jose Benavidez starts getting beat, it's going to look bad on Terrence. You know what I mean? But Terrence could always claim, well, hey, he wasn't the same after I beat him, you know, pull a Floyd or something like that. But, you know, it doesn't look good, though, you know, especially when, you know, let's say something comes to a screeching halt in your career where you can't get those fights because, you know, that happens in the sport of boxing where these fighters that are hungry that want to fight can't get a fight. Look at Errol Spence. He couldn't get a fight for the longest. Now he's fighting a smaller dude, two weight classes down that making him come up. You know, that's a sign of desperation to me. You know what I'm saying? He could have fought someone like Amir Khan or made a fight with Amir Khan or, or, you know, because Amir Khan wanted him supposedly. So, um, you know, and I know why Amir Khan wanted that, me thinking about it. He calls out Errol Spence because he knows Errol Spence broke uh, Kell Brook's eye socket. So if he knows, if he can go in there and beat him or claim to fight him, uh, or it somehow pulls out a win, the triangle theory would be, hey, uh, me being <clears throat> Amir Khan, I already beat the guy that beat you, so there's no need for me to prove to my countrymen that I have to fight you. So I get it. So that that makes sense to me. Um, but no, Keith Thurman, you know, he is a guy that he's very charismatic, you know, um, <clears throat> but I see one thing I notice. He will, he's covering all bases. He did a little damage control. You know, he was like, well, who is Terrence Crawford? I don't consider him top five or whatever. I don't even consider him a real welterweight. Okay. Well, the thing is, Terrence Crawford has already went on record saying that, hey, you know, I'm not a Keith Thurman. I'm not all scared and shit. You know what I mean? So maybe that's Keith's indirect way of trying to throw shade on him because he said those type of things, you know, about him. Well, if you feel that way, Keith Thurman, forget fighting Jay Lopez. Okay. All right. Forget fighting Josito Lopez. Why don't you fight Terrence Crawford? You know what I mean? Will you take the same offer that Danny was proposed or the same offer Amir? Would he fight Terrence Crawford for $5 million? Because that's what was offered to Amir Khan. You know, I don't even know what happened over those negotiations or not. You know what I mean? But um, I don't know if it's Ramadan or something like that. But Amir Khan, he has to respond to that. So, um, but yeah, if I'm Keith Thurman and if I want to stand out like he claims, fight someone like Terrence Crawford, discredit the guy that you say that that is not considered a real welterweight and see how far, see how fast that goes. See how well that goes. See, and the problem with Keith Thurman, he's staying in his lane partially. So, see, to stay in your lane, he knows he's with PBC. He's with Fox. He's with Showtime, right? They got that huge big deal he mentioned. And I can understand if you are fighting the guys that you fight and only, you know, uh, mentioning the dudes that you're interested in fighting. But I don't understand why are you talking about guys like Terrence Crawford, oh bud, when you're criticizing him, but you guys are in the same weight class now, <clears throat> but you don't want to fight him. See, if I felt that way about a fighter, if I'm in the same weight class, we're in our primes, we're both undefeated, but all I can say is he's not a real champion. Well, let me prove everyone wrong by fighting him, by challenging him, by offering him a fight. Let's unify. You know, Bud Crawford has WBO. <clears throat> he has a WBA super, right? So if I felt that way, if I truly felt that way being Keith Thurman, I need to call out Terrence Crawford. You know what I mean? And I think pretty soon if he keeps talking to about Terrence Crawford, Terrence Crawford is going to eventually turn his vision away from Errol Spence and direct it towards you okay buddy you think i'm not a real champion why don't you fight me and i'm waiting to the day that happens 
See, that's going to be a great day because Terrence Crawford then will say, you know what? I'm tired of Keith Thurman talking this charismatic, uh, patriotic, political bullshit, boxing talk. You don't think I'm a real talking, a real champion? Fight me. Take me on. Try me out. See what I'm about. Let's do that. You know, and we'll see if Keith Thurman still has it. You know, because fighting Josito Lopez is not enough. You know what I mean? And I, you know, and I'm always for the underdog, you know what I mean? Because he did break Victor Ortiz's jaw. If Victor Ortiz would have went on and had a reigning career and all that good stuff, you know, that would have been, that would have made him look a lot better, but he got beat by some of the best in the world. So, you know, he was a scrapper though. So he's, he will be a game fighter. So that will be soon in the Barclays Center. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think about Keith Thurman uh, interjecting welterweights and his comments, of course, please subscribe. And you guys have been counterpunched. Peace.